Oh, Janet, hello to you. Hi there. Nice to see you. And you too, David. This is a great space, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah, we do quite well with it being on the down, on the ground floor yeah, as well. Yeah. So, and um, people go through to the reclamation yard and have a look. So you're getting people going through and then coming yes, back. So, yes. Yes. Very yeah. good. Show me around. Talk to me about how, how how you buy. What is it that that drives you? Well, what do you like to buy? I've always been interested in it, but I don't profess to be an expert on anything. But okay. I just go with my eye. If I like it, then I hope some of my customers do. Do you know, I think so, that's a really good tip in actual fact. Go yeah. with your eye. And I always say that about antique dealers. When you go onto someone's stand, you are buying their eye, aren't you? You're yeah. buying their style. Yeah. It's a bit like food, isn't it? If it looks yes. good, it'll taste good. <laughs> that is exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. My main passion is um, hand-painted china. I, I love hand-painted oh, wow. china. Okay. I know some of it gets a little bit damaged, but for the age of it and everything, it's um, a lovely big set. And is that the strong. price, 95 for it the is, set? It is, yes. But well, that's not bad, is it? You can always do a little bit of discount at the Well, it's um, a bit desk. of wheeling and yes, dealing, exactly. isn't it? Yes, exactly. Yes, and um, I used to ch collect chintz myself. Right. It was my passion. But my um, collection's got far too big at home. Has so it? So you have to offload it sometimes. So. But I think dealers are natural collectors as well yes. aren't they? so your house will be full of eclectic things we're no hoping doubt. to move house so that's why i'm having a clear out of right and a, a sale on a few things yes so. and how long have you been at astro for oh about 10 years have I you started off in a, a cabinet and moved yes. to a small room and now i've got a double pitch here so <laughs> yeah it's um it's a good hobby if nothing else and if i can earn a little bit out of it as well yes. then all well and good. Yeah. But is is it a full time hobby job? It is at the moment. Yes, I'm. Um... Let's have a wander around. Okay, you might be able to tell me about pieces as well, rather than me tell you about pieces. Well, I mean, is is there anything that you want to ask any questions on? I'm always happy to. My husband likes his furniture, and he's very good at history. So when oh. he finds a piece of furniture, he'll oh. be thinking who was on the throne at the time and things like that. History was never my strong point. Oh, you know, honestly, I, I would really enjoy meeting your husband because oh. that's exactly what I love to do. Well, if he wasn't at an auction, he'd be here now. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant it's because each and every single piece in the world of antiques and vintage tells a story. I mean, look at this, this little Edwardian washstand there, Janet, look at it. Yeah. In, in the Georgian revival style. So based on a Georgian design of 1770, but made in 1905 in the Georgian revival period. And look at the colours. The, the tiles are lovely. Oh my they? goodness yeah. me. It's yeah. so Art Nouveau in the colour, isn't yes. it? So, so yeah, that could tell us a tale or two. And you can talk about kings. You can talk about just prior, made just prior to the beginning of the First World War. Yeah. There's so much to talk about, isn't there? Yes. Um, my main passion as i said earlier yeah. is the china but See i that. absolutely adore that set and the price maybe isn't really keen because i'm not bothered about selling it i'm happy to live with it a oh isn't bit that strange there. isn't that strange coal port i mean that's a, such a good quality maker is isn't lovely. it isn't it just yes. And this is nice as well, isn't it? Oh, isn't that lovely? Okay, so let's have a look at let's have a look at that base there. You you Sorry. Have because so what have we got? Hmm. Okay, so it's Royal Worcester, and we've got the crown sitting on the circle there with the fifty one in the middle, which actually represents the the founding of of the company in seventeen fifty one. Nothing to do with the date of this one. Oh, you'll be able to tell so me no, the date. Will well, you? yeah, I can. You, you don't have the England mark. I can't see. There's no England mark. I haven't got my glasses. On, so pre eighteen ninety two. So cute. what eighteen eighty? I would say it sort of screams eighteen yes. eighty, doesn't it? Yes. Do you love what you do? Yes. <laughs> you do, do don't yes. you? I can tell. I can yeah. tell. <laughs> I'm sad, aren't I? But yeah, no. I do. I love it. The the shapes of things, and uh, compared to the brand new um, pot, pots that you yes. buy, yeah. I just think. Um, the shape of this as well, excuse me. Would it be for a, an invalid? It looks that way, doesn't it? Put, uh, Too big for a baby, and isn't it? Yes, Minton. Minton, very good quality Minton, maker, isn't it? Yeah. So. Oh, Janet, you've got some really, really Thank you. lovely things. Thank and, 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 and I love your passion. It really does shine <laughs> out. It genuinely does. Yeah. It really does. How often do you spend in here? 
depending if I go out buying or not, I often um, come down twice a week just to restock. If yeah. they phone me at the desk for best prices, yeah. and I know quite a lot of um, items have gone, then I'll come and restock at least once a week just to tidy around and move things around, freshen it up. I yes. think the more you work at it, the more you get out of oh, it. Oh, you're so right. You can't just put something in and leave it. No, you um, can't. Sometimes I take things home and yes, of course and then you do. Bring it back of course again. you do. So, but um, yeah. And and I must say, it is quite nice to spend time here because it's busy, and it's active. There's lots of people, so it's very social, isn't it? Yes. When we're here restocking or just tidying up, yeah, and we're talking to people, we can obviously give customers the best prices on things. Yeah. Although Barry and his staff do very well. Yes. We can probably do a little bit more discount yeah plus we can um tell them where we got things from or what got you, used. you can like, tell that's us not what... just a table it's a tray well of look at that i mean let, let, i mean let's talk butlers. about that it's a butler's tray butler's tray so yes. that that tray lift it does lifts off should, should we demonstrate <laughs> look at you look at you looking like a butler <laughs> oh, yeah. oh that is yeah. lovely now what sort of money is that Oh, for goodness sake, it's no money, is it? 75 quid? Is that right? Oh, no. Yeah. 75 quid? Yeah. With discount at the, at the door, if you can negotiate well with Barry. Janet, that is marvellous. Well done, Thank you. Thank you. I do like miniature things as well. Look at this dinky little thing. <gasps> Love that. Love that. Yeah. Yes, now, see, that could tell a story as well, of course, couldn't it? These things were often made as wedding gifts. Did you know that? I didn't know. What they would no. do, I mean, there was, they're often described as apprentice pieces, aren't That's they? That's right, yes. But very often in the 19th century, let's say you were getting married, your father would maybe have made for you a lovely chest of drawers like this, full size. And then on your wedding day, oh. he would give you the miniature version lovely. of the chest of drawers mm. that is waiting for you at home. Really pretty. Yeah. Talk about I stories, like great stories. Yes. Yes. And can you tell me anything about crystallians? Well, they used to be incredibly popular and they've always got a dome to them, haven't they? They used to be that very has. collectible, but they're just the, the market has has Out dipped. It's, anything supremely traditional yes. has dipped, hasn't it, in value? Yes. Are you doing OK with these things? Um, I don't buy a lot. No. Um, because I don't know a lot about them. I don't think you need to. They're basically prints. It's just a modern version, right. a Victorian modern version of a print. Right. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's it's a really clever way of creating a print. So the basic print is pasted to the back of the concave glass, rubbed away, leaving the imprint of the print, and then it's all hand coloured with oil paints. And they were very popular in the day and they were very popular in the 80s and the okay. 90s, but not so much now. But that's no money, is it? How much is no, it? No, no, 58. 58 pounds. quid. I mean, 25 years ago, it would have been yes. 200 pounds. So it's good value for money. A lot of people, including myself, and I have just sold one this morning, mm. are interested in the Victorian Chatelaines. Oh, wow. I have one. It's well, in me. a modern... I should go and get the keys out. This one here, oh, yes. it is in a modern frame. Oh, I can't see that because of the reflection. Oh, right. And I have just sold one with a glasses case this morning on a Chatelaine belt. Now, isn't that strange? Now, but why are people buying them just to collect them? I think so, yes. Wow, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that very traditional things are not popular, as, as ah. popular as they used to be. That's so traditional, but it's very popular. Yes, so, yes. And people say to me that people don't use china anymore. Yeah. They're all using mugs, heavy yeah. mugs. But we still sell quite a lot, mainly to the overseas customers. Yes. I have one um, customer from Japan who comes over a lot and right. he'll order off me over the internet. Yes. And then we meet here when he comes over. And, right. And, um, yes. and he's got a good business. He's obviously selling them on. So, the, you know, the pretty china people do like. You are right. In fact, I bumped into some Taiwanese buyers. I don't know whether they've been on the stand yet. They're in the building and they buy an awful lot right. of China. Yeah. Traditional you know, tea and cake sets that That's we, that exactly we say right. are not popular yes. here anymore. They love them yes. in the Far East. Yes. 
and I have sold some solid silver little coffee spoons this morning and the, right. the, the um, bowls on the spoons all had hand painted flowers in them so oh, they were lovely. pretty as well. How lovely. So yes a bit girly but. Oh um, it's wonderful sounds like you're making a fortune. <laughs> it would be nice. 